عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رح نبدأ اليوم إن شاء الله موضوع جديد شابتر 4 اللي هو تطبيقات على الديريفاتيف تعلمتوا قبل how you can find the derivative for polynomial for exponential function sine inverse cosine inverse logarithmic function now in this chapter we will study application of the derivative so we start of analysis of function section 4.1 and 4.2 in this lecture we will define what do we mean about a critical point and also we will define what do we mean about increasing decreasing function and also what do we mean about relative extremum that mean max or minimum so our aim in this lecture to define three concepts what do we mean about a critical point increasing decreasing function and the relative max minimum so definition a number c belongs to domain f x فأهم شرط إنه هذا الرقم belongs to domain f x is a critical number for f x إذا تحقق أحد الشرطين إما f prime less c equal zero or f prime less c does not exist so to find the critical points for the function the critical point must belongs to the domain f x فإذا كانت الـ derivative equal zero or if a prime does not exist then c is a critical point for example find the critical numbers for if you want if you want to find the critical point you must find the x coordinate and the y coordinate now if we take the function f l x 1 over x before you find the critical number what is the domain for f l x the domain for f l x are except zero now to find the critical numbers you must find f prime del x now f prime del x how you can differentiate one over x the derivative for one over x minus one over x square now to find the critical points when the derivative equals zero it will be never equal zero هل من الممكن انه f prime equal zero no so f prime لل x it will be never equal zero the function not differentiable at x equal zero but x equal zero not a critical point لسبب انها لا تنتمي للدومين so we say f ال x has no critical point no critical points if we take another example f x equal x to the power 1 over 3 before you solve the problem what is the domain for this function the domain for f x r a real number y this is the cubic root for x. So if it is positive or negative, حيكون إلو output. To find the critical points, you must find f prime لل x. Now f prime لل x, حسب rules للاشتقاق, we differentiate x to the power 1 over 3 equal 1 over 3 x to the power 1 over 3 minus 1. So this equivalent to 1 over 3 x to the power 1 over 3 minus 1 minus 2 over 3 this equivalent to 1 over 3 x to the power 2 over 3 
obvious f prime never equal zero مستحيل انها المشتقة تساوي صفر لكن obvious انه f x is not differentiable at x equal zero with zero belongs to domain f so we conclude انه zero zero هي عبارة عن a critical point Why zero zero is a critical point for the function f l x? Why? Since f prime to zero does not exist, it has zero in the place. Zero belongs to domain f l x. If you take the function f l x equal the absolute value of x, واضح الدومين ل f l x r. If you want to find f prime lil x, f prime lil x equal in one if x is greater than zero and minus one if x less than zero and if x equal zero, the function not differentiable or f prime lil zero does not exist. So what is the critical point for f l x? Obvious, he is zero. No, the critical point to achieve one of the conditions. إما f prime ل c equal zero or the function or f prime ل c does not exist or the function not differentiable. So we get zero zero is a critical point for the function f l x. Now. The critical numbers for f l x equal x, the square root x minus one, the x minus two to the power three are. هذا homework. بعطيك خيارات. Before you find the critical numbers, you must find the domain for this function. What is the domain for this function? The domain from. One to infinity. So any critical number must belong to this interval. To find the critical numbers for this function, you must differentiate. You have a product of two function. How will I differentiate and find the critical number? I think the answer it will be f. Okay. So until now, we define what do we mean about the critical. Point or a critical number. Now, consider this graph f l x. If you take any two point, this is x one and this is x two. Obvious, x one less than x two. This point, x one, f x one, and this point, x two, f x two. What is the relation between what is the relation between f x one and f x two? واضح إنه f x one less than f x two. That means when x increase, the image it will be increase. يعني this function increasing. This function increasing function. Okay, if you take the graph for this function, take any two point, hey x one, or hey x two. واضح إنه x one less than x two. لكن what is the relation between f x one and f x two? This point. X one f x one and this point x two f x two. When x increases, the image decreases. واضح from the graph إنه f l x one greater than f x two. فهذا ال function رح نعطي عليه اسم إنه decreasing. لكن in one obvious. When the x increases, the image it will be increased. So this function, we're not the same. It will be increasing 
function. Now, look to the graph in a three. This is x1, this is x2. When x1 and x2 are increased, لاحظ إنه it will be constant. They have the same image. So this function is constant function, not increasing and not decreasing. Manato, we will define what do we mean about increasing function and decreasing function. في التعريف الأول, what do we mean about increasing? If x1 less than x2, for any x1 and x2 in domain f, then fx1 less than fx2. So, خلينا نشوف the definition. So, definition. Let f be defined on interval and x1, x2 are points in that interval. F is increasing, so if I can function increasing on the interval, if fx1 less than fx2, whenever x1 less than x2, وهذا الكلام اللي شفنا in graph 1. We see that in graph 1. And decreasing x1 less than x2, then fx1 greater than fx2. So, f will x decreasing on the interval if fx1 greater than fx2 whenever x1 less than x2 and the function is constant on the interval if fx1 equal fx2 for all points and if you want to find the images or the images they are equal for all x1 for all x1 and x2 belongs to the interval for the function or for l x1 and x2 in the domain so it, this is the definition now our question how to find the intervals of increasing and decreasing for the function in graph one if we draw the tangent at x1, this is the tangent. Now, if a prime at x1, min ta'rifna la derivative, if a prime la x1, hiya to mithal the slope la tangent line. Now, the slope of the tangent line at x1, positive or negative, Obvious, it is positive. Why? This angle, cute angle, so tan positive. فواضح إنه f prime at x one positive. If you take the slope of a tangent line at any point on the graph, at this point, this is another tangent. Obvious, in all the slope also positive. So the function it will be increasing. If f prime positive for any point in domain f, if you draw a tangent line at this point, at this point the tangent line, also the slope it will be positive. Now, look to the graph two. If we draw a tangent line at any point, if you draw a tangent line at x one. This is the tangent line. So, f prime at x1 represent the slope of a tangent. Now, the slope of a tangent at x1 positive or negative? واضح إنه هاي الانجل التان إلها negative. So, f prime at x1 negative. So the function decreasing if the derivative is negative. Now, if you draw any tangent at any point, حيكون عنا the slope negative. Okay. If 
you draw this tangent line, we see that the slope is negative. Now, <laughs> recall if f l x equal constant c, then f prime l x equal zero. So in this graph, if f prime l x equal zero for all x in domain f l x, that mean you know f l x is constant. So to find the intervals of increasing and decreasing, أكيد ما حنلجأ للتعريف حيكون في عنا theorem تساعدنا how to find the intervals of increasing and decreasing of a function. So theorem. Let f be a function that is continuous in a closed interval a b. إذا لم تعطى إليك فترة so you must find the domain for the function and differentiable on the open interval a b. So how to find the interval of increasing and decreasing? First of all, you study the sign to find the intervals of increasing and decreasing. You study the sign for f prime x. Now, if f prime x positive for all value of x in a b, if they cannot assign the f prime positive, that mean in the slope the tangent line positive, then we say f l x increasing. Well, if they cannot assign negative for every value of x in a b, then f is decreasing. Well, if they cannot f prime l x equal zero for all value of x in the interval a b, then f is constant. For example, find the intervals on which f is increasing, the intervals on which f is decreasing, and the critical points. Before you solve the question, first of all, you must find the domain. Now, we have the function f l x equal 5 minus 4 x minus x squared. This is polynomial. What is the domain for polynomial? Obvious, the domain for f l x are a real number. To answer the question, you must find f prime and study the sign for f prime of x. Now, خلينا نشتاق f prime لل x equal مشتقة ال 5 0 minus 4 minus 2 x equal zero منها minus two x equal four so we get x equal minus two and minus two belongs to domain f l x so we get the critical point the critical point what is the critical point minus two and f l minus 2. I hope in like find f l minus 2. How you find f l minus 2? You substitute instead of x minus 2, 5 minus 4 times minus 2 minus 4. This equivalent to 5 plus 8 minus 4. This is equal minus 4 equal 9. So we find the critical point. Now to find the interval of increasing and decreasing, we study the sign, the address is sign, la f prime lil x. Now the sign for f prime lil x, minus 2. If you choose number greater than minus 2, like minus 1, إيش رح تكون عنا sign? Minus 4, minus 2, 
times minus one plus two معناته الإشارة نيجاتيف and if you choose number less than minus two مثل السالب أربعة minus four substitute you get minus four minus two عوض لو اخترنا الماينس فور شو الساين حتكون ماينس فور ماينس تو ماينس فور this equivalent ماينس فور تو ماينس فور بلس ات so sign positive هذا شو عم يعنينا this means this function increasing in this interval and decreasing from two to infinity so if ال x increasing on minus infinity minus 2 closed and f l x decreasing on which interval 2 minus 2 infinity And it has a critical point. Lahad function increasing, decreasing. Fi hon value. Hai el value rah tkun hiya to mithal al function relative max. Hanhki anha later on. Now, if you take the function f l x equal tan inverse x, before you solve, what is domain? What is domain f l x? Obvious domain f l x r. How we can differentiate tan inverse l x? Not. According to the rules of differentiation, we take d by d x for tan inverse g l x. Here, baran g prime l x over one plus g x square. Recall that in the rules of differentiation. Now, f prime l x equal 1 over 1 plus x squared. The derivative never it will be equal 0. That means the function has no critical point. And the sign for f prime always positive. For all x belongs to r. What does it mean? Should be any like you know if prime always positive. That mean if l x increasing always increasing on its domain on R. Is this function has any critical point? No. Why? Since if prime never equal zero. لاحظ إنه الدنومينيتر مستحيل يكون صفر. That means if l x has no critical point. Another example. If you take the function f l x equal x p e to the power x square, what is the domain for this function? The domain for f l x r. Now to find the critical points, the intervals of increasing and decreasing, you must differentiate. Now f prime of x, that is a product of two functions. So if you find the derivative x, the first the derivative la e to the power x squared 2x derivative to the power plus e to the power x squared times the derivative of x equal 1. So this equivalent 2. So how we differentiate the product of two function. The x is the derivative of this function. The power 2x Fill function of so plus e to the power x squared times 1. So this equivalent 2. 2x two squared e to the power x squared plus e to the power x squared. Now, when the derivative 
equal zero. So we take e to the power x squared as a common factor, 2x squared plus 1. How many can can this equal zero? Impossible. Why? Since e to the power x squared does not equal zero for any value of x, and also x is 2x squared plus 1 does not equal to zero. So, if this function has any critical point, so if x has no critical points. Now, we want to study the sign for f prime in x. لاحظ هي f prime لل x. f prime لل x always positive. Why? e to the power x square positive. 2x square x any number. و x square always positive times by 2 positive number. This positive number, if you add 1, you get positive number. So obvious, f prime لل x always positive. f prime لل x always positive for all. X belongs to R. This is mean, madam. No, if the prime always positive, that mean if the X always increasing on its domain on R. Okay. Now, if you take the function if the X sin the X in general, the domain sin the X R. Like if we give the question interval zero to pi, so the Now to find the critical points for the function f l x equals sin l x, find f prime l x. f prime l x equal cosine x when it will be equal zero, when x equal pi over two and three pi over two. There is another angle cosine equal zero but we take only the angles that belongs to the interval 0 to pi. So, we have the critical points 0, 2 pi, pi over 2, and 3 pi over 2. Now, we study the sign for f prime l x. To study the sign f prime l x, 0, 2 pi, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. If you choose angle between 0 and pi over 2, it will be in the first quadrant, so the cosine positive. If you choose angle between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, that means in the second and in the third quadrant, so the cosine negative. And if the angle in the fourth quadrant, the cosine positive. So sine increasing, so if it x, Increasing on which interval? On the interval 0 pi over 2 union 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. And it will be decreasing from, so increasing, decreasing, increasing. Obvious it will be max and minimum. And the f l x decreasing on which interval? On the interval pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. And you can find the critical points 0 if 0 pi over 2, if pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, the image is and 2 pi, the image f 2 pi. We say that our aim in this lecture to define what we mean about relative max and relative minimum. Now look to this graph. This function, this function f l x. So this function decreasing, increasing. This point, this point, local minimum. And the function increasing, decreasing this point max. And this is local max. 
Now, what do we mean about local max or local minimum? Now, in this interval, obvious this function decreasing, then increasing, so this value minimum. But this value, it is not the smallest one. For this reason, we say this value local. Now, there is a difference between local and absolute. In this lecture, we defined only what we mean about local or relative max or minimum. Now, this value, x1, obvious, x, if x1 is the largest value in this interval, in some interval, in some open interval containing x1, هاي أكبر قيمة ضمن some open interval contains x1. This point x0, this point x0, if x0, obvious if x0 أقل أو تساوي if x. For all x in some open interval contains x naught. هاي أصغر واحدة ضمن فترة معينة in some open interval contains x naught. And obvious this function decreasing increasing minimum. Now this function increasing decreasing this value max until this function has no absolute max. We say the absolute max the largest. Value of the function on its domain. So in this lecture only we define what do we mean about local max or minimum. Now look to this graph. Graph 2. Obvious this function increasing this function g x and then decreasing. So this is max. Decreasing and then increasing this is minimum, local minimum. And this is max. But this is the largest one. We say the largest one, it will be absolute max. Later on, we define what do we mean about absolute. Look to the graph 3. This function always increasing. This function always increasing. So this function has no max and no minimum. If this function, take this graph, we take this function that is defined on a closed interval. In this case, it will be has absolute minimum and absolute max. This case, رح نحكي عنها later on في محاضرة قادمة. So, our question now, how to find a local max and a local minimum? If the function decreasing, then it will be increasing, it will be has local minimum. And if the function increasing, that means if a prime positive, then it will be decreasing, it will be have a local max. So our question now, how to find, how to find a relative extremum? Relative extrema mean imma max or minimum. Before we explain how to find a relative extrema, we define what do we mean about local max and local minimum. So definition, a function f, a function f, is said to have a relative maximum at x naught. Lahat this function, this graph, has a relative maximum at this point. إذا تحقق شرط, if there is an open interval containing x naught in which if x naught is the largest, is the largest value. That is if x not greater or equal f l x for all x in the interval. Manato sofa relative maximum or local 
maximum if it is fx not greater than fx for all x in the interval containing for all x in the interval this interval contains x naught and we say that a function is said to have a relative or local minimum at x naught التعريف غيرنا if there is an open interval containing x naught on which if x naught is the smallest not the largest the smallest value that is if x naught less or equal to f l x for all x in the interval this is what do we mean about local max minimum not relative extremum mean in a relative max or relative minimum and sometimes instead of relative we say local extremum that mean in a local max or minimum now our question how to find how to find how to find a relative extremum we have two methods الطريقة الأولى by the first derivative test اللي حنشرحها now and the second method by the second derivative test now we will explain what do we mean about first derivative test the first derivative test تعتمد على إشارة sine f prime إذا كان ال function increasing ومن ثم decreasing سوف يكون له local max so the first derivative test suppose that f is continuous at a critical point x naught if f prime lal x positive on an open interval extending left from x naught and f prime lal x is negative on an open interval extending right from x naught then have then f has relative maximum at x naught شو معنى هذا الكلام that mean هاي sign x not sorry هاي sign f prime you study sign f prime x not إذا كان عن يسار هالإشارة positive وهون negative so that mean increasing decreasing حتكون max لكن متى حيكون لل function local minimum حيكون لل function local minimum العكس إذا كانت هي x not كان عن يسارها f prime negative positive so the function decreasing then increasing سوف تكون local minimum so this function increasing decreasing maybe إنه هذا ال function فهاي ال point حتكون عنا local max this graph decreasing, increasing. So this point relative minimum. This is the graph for the function f l x. Maybe had a function g of x. Lahas this function then l x always increasing. This function has no extremum. No extremum, that mean no max and no minimum. Now, for example, find the intervals on which f increasing, decreasing, and find all critical points and the relative extrema for. The same procedure. كل هدول بإمكانك تجاوب عليهم من خلال f prime. Now, f l x equal 3 x to the power 4 plus 12 x. Before you solve the question, what is the domain f l x? Obvious, you have polynomial, so domain f l x r. Now, find f prime l x. This is equal 12 x to the power 3 plus 12 study the sign for f prime رح أطر أسويها بالزيرة so you get 12 x to the power 3 plus 1 equal 0 which is equivalent to x equal minus 1 
Now study the sign for f prime. The sign for f prime l x. ومن خلالها you can answer what is the critical point. واضح إنه the critical number minus one. So the critical point it will be minus one and f l minus one. Now study sign f prime. This is minus one. If you choose number greater than minus one. Like zero, so sign it will be positive. If you choose minus two, minus eight plus one, so negative. So the function decreasing, increasing. Now, the critical point is minus one and f l minus one, and this is equal. What is the value for f l minus one? f l minus 1 equal 3 minus 12. This is equal minus 9. So the critical point minus 1 minus 9. Okay. f l x. Lah this critical point decreasing increasing. It will be minimum. Rah tkun This value is Minimum, you know, decreasing, increasing. Okay. Had also, it will be absolute minimum. Now, if x increasing, on which interval? On minus one infinity, and if x <coughs> decreasing, on which interval? On minus infinity minus one. Why? Because the sign la f prime. F prime negative. Man, the function it will be decreasing. Another example. F l x equal x to the power four over three minus x to the power one over three. Before you solve the question, what is the domain for f l x? Domain f l x r intersection r. You get real number. To answer the question, you must find f prime l x. Now differentiate according to the rules. So f prime l x equal four over three x to the power four over three minus one minus one over three x to the power one over three minus one. We simplify. Before you study the sign of f prime, you must simplify. So this equivalent to 4 over 3 x to the power 4 over 3 minus 1, 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3 x to the power 1 over 3 minus 1 minus 2 over 3. So this is equal 4 over 3 x to the power 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3 x to the power 2 over 3. So, f prime l x equal واحد المقامات take the least common multiple 3 x to the power 2 over 3. رح يعطينا 4 x y المقام 1 we multiply by x to the power 2 over 3 minus 1 now this is f prime lil x when f prime lil x equals 0 and when f prime what is the point that make f prime at this point does not exist obvious this is equal 0 if 4x minus 1 equals 0, so you get x equal 1 over 4. What is the critical numbers for FLX? What if they are x equal 1 over 4 and x equal 0? x equal 1 over 4 since f prime at 1 over 4 equals 0 
and x equals zero since f prime and this zero not differentiable and make sure that these points belongs to domain f l x now study the sign for f prime l x to study the sign in a zero one over four high f prime we want to study the sign for f prime choose number greater than one for like one four times one four minus one the sign positive with denominator positive so sign it will be positive okay if you choose number between zero and one over four like one over eight so four times one over eight one half minus one so the sign negative if you choose number like minus one minus four minus one negative will cubic root l x squared so the sign negative now if l x decreasing on the interval minus infinity one over four and if l x increasing on the interval 1 over 4 infinity لاحظ this function decreasing increasing so حيكون عنا local minimum if l x if l x has a local minimum at x equal 1 over 4 if we say at which point, if you want to find the point, the point, it will be 1 over 4 and f1 over 4. Lahad, it is not necessary every critical point, every critical point has at this critical point max or minimum. ليس بالضرورة كل critical point إنه يكون عندها minimum or max. Obvious zero is a critical point, like a no max and no minimum. Okay. Flx equal x minus 3e to the power x. What is the domain for Flx? Domain Flx r. Why? <coughs> domain x minus 3 r, domain L exponential r, r intersection r, r. So find f prime L x. F prime in x product of two function x minus 3 for derivative e to the power x plus e to the power x times 1. So this is equal 0. Simplify. Take e to the power x as a common factor. You get x minus 3 plus 1 equal 0. Now e to the power so f prime in x equal e to the power x times x minus 2 so this is equal 0 e to the power x never it will be equal 0 so we get x equal 2 so the critical point what is the critical point 2 will image let 2 2 minus 3 minus e square كيف حصلنا عليها f2 we substitute 2 minus 3 times e square so we get 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus e square now we want to study the sign for f prime Now to study the sign for f prime, this is f prime. To study the sign for f prime, we have two is a critical point. Study the sign. Choose number greater than two like a three. Obvious, this is always positive. So the sign positive. Why? 
3 minus 2 positive. If you choose number less than 2, like 0, so the sign negative. That means FLX decreasing on which interval? On minus infinity 2 and FLX increasing on the interval to infinity and this point this point حيكون للاقتران is a relative minimum حتكون هي is a relative minimum for the function okay if you take f x equal then x over x before you solve the question what is the domain for f x domain f x what from zero to infinity y domain len inside the len positive تقاطع دومين x معناته open from zero to infinity when you study the sign for f prime you must study the sign only on this interval be careful now find f prime apply the rules of differentiation the quotient the denominator times the مقام مشتقة البسط 1 over x minus في الديريفاتيف لل x over x square this equivalent to 1 minus len over x square now when f prime equal 0 اكيد اي كسر حيساوي صفر if 1 minus len x equal 0 that mean 1 equal len x so this equivalent x equal e now to study the sign for f prime x this is f prime we want to study the sign for f prime to study the sign for f prime of x be careful we study the sign on its domain from zero to infinity now e if you choose number greater than e لاحظ you know denominator always positive if we choose number greater than e like e to the power three substitute if you choose e to the power three what is the sign 1 minus len e to the power 3 this equivalent 1 minus 3 len e so minus 2 so the sign negative the sign راح تكون negative so the sign negative now if you choose number between 0 and e, like 1, len 1, if you choose 1, if you choose 1, len 1, 0, so 1 minus 0, positive, 1 positive. So, what is the critical point? The critical point E and F L E. F L E, len L E 1, 1 over E. How we get 1 over E? This is F L E. We substitute len L E over E. Now, F L X increasing on which interval on open interval 0 e y open since it is not included in the domain and f l x decreasing decreasing 
on the interval e infinity and this point it will be max local <coughs> max okay if we take the function f of x equal x plus 3 over x minus 2 what is domain f l x rational function r intersection r r except 2 before you solve now find f prime l x according to the rules the denominator maqam مشتقة البسط 1 minus x plus 3 في الديريفاتيف ل x minus 2 1 divided by the denominator square this equivalent x minus 2 minus x minus 3 divided by so you get f prime l x equal minus 2 over x minus 2 square now f prime never equal to 0 and f prime l x always negative why the denominator always positive فواضح انه f prime لل x less than 0 always for all x in the domain of the function minus infinity 2 لاحظ this function sign ل f prime This is 2 not included in the domain. Like in a sign, the f prime always negative. That means the function decreasing. Decreasing on which interval? On minus infinity 2 and 2 infinity. Is there any critical point for the function flx? No. So flx has no critical points. And FLX has no extremum. ما حيكون له لا max ولا minimum. و FLX decreasing على فترتين اللي هم from minus infinity to and to infinity. لو قلنا FLX decreasing on R غلط. It's wrong since the domain r except 2 and this function later on رح نرسمها حيكون له horizontal and vertical asymptote to practice more حاول انك تحل two functions f l x equal x في e to the power x square and f l x equal x to the power 3 لن ال x first of all the domain for this function and the domain for this function what you have len the domain it will be from 0 to infinity product of two function this function domain r and this function from 0 to infinity the intersection will harm 0 to infinity so you must differentiate and study the sign for f prime of x آخر ملاحظة بدنا نحكيها بمحاضرة اليوم إحنا شفنا ليس بالضرورة إنه كل critical point إنه يكون عندها max or minimum Maybe the function has a critical point لكن at this critical point no max and no minimum But suppose that f is a function defined on an open interval containing the point x0 If f has a relative extremum at x equal x naught if they can learn function in a relative extremum at x equal x naught that mean relative extremum maybe in a cone max or minimum if they can learn a relative extremum then for high in this direction then x equal 
X not is a critical point شو يعني critical point؟ معنى هذا الكلام إنه إما F prime لل X not equal zero or F prime لل X not does not exist لكن ال converse not true يعني بهاي الطريقة ما بيمشي الوضع ليس بالضرورة إنه every critical point يكون عندها max or minimum and we see من الاكزامبل اللي حليناهم إنه we find the critical point but this critical point has no max or minimum a simple example if you take the function f x equal x to the power 3 this function has a critical point 0 0 why if you differentiate 3x square equal 0 but this critical point no max and how no minimum يعني إذا كانت critical point maybe إنه يكون عندها max or minimum maybe not لاحظ إنه f prime لل x equal 3x square always positive so the function increasing so no max no minimum إن شاء الله في المحاضرة القادمة حنكمل بناء على هاي النوت ونحل إكزامبل وحندرس خصائص أكتر للفونكشن حنعرف ودو مين أباوت كونكيبيتي So we study in this lecture three concept What do we mean about a critical point? What do we mean about increasing, decreasing function? And what do we mean about relative extremum? And in order to find the critical point, the intervals of increasing, decreasing, the extremum, كلهم بتم الإجابة عليهم to study the sign for f prime x.